was made. Okay, start over. Long ago, there was a peaceful kingdom. But then, Sauron came to threaten the land. Their many great grandparents created the elements and banished him back to the, their grounds. Every year he returned, getting closer and closer to these kids. And why they need to defeat him? Because she is the last Fendorian. And if she, and if he still roams when she's killed, when she passes away, there will be no one to use the element most powerful, the element of love. If she can, if they cannot defeat his mighty, they will forever, they will forever be destruction. And want to know why they really need to get this done? Because mm -hmm. without her, the element can't be powered. The other elements can't be powered. They can't defeat Sauron. So Sauron will, um, Sauron will defeat them. So Sauron's the bad guy. Uh huh. Well, who's Pericles? Pericles is basically all the villains. They were so frustrated that they defeated them. They went to the really dark side, Sauron's side. Although Nibiru is his. Although, he actually is a sidekick to Nibiru. A very close sidekick. Number one, in fact. So, is number one to Nibiru. The reason, I wonder why you only hear about Sauron mm -hmm. is because Nibiru just vanished. He, Sauron still roams the dark lands. Nibiru, he's just basically in some other place. He, he's just gone. He, and he is tell Sauron with this cre with this ball. It says, find these children and kill them. And he just and he doesn't say like get them or capture them to me and just bring them here and I'll put them in a dungeon. He actually means kill them. <gasps> kill all of them. Mm -hmm. Even even little Wonderheart and the Care Bears. He just means kill them. Wonderheart and the Care Bears? They all have to do this. It's risking their... They're doing what they can. Are you realizing what this means if they can't defeat him? In fact, Nibiru has plans to not just get all of the kids. He is planning to destroy the universe. Making only a dark planet called... Magical. Where all the dark creatures live. Are you starting to realize that everyone, even some, even some people that aren't used to this, have to do this? Otherwise, the prophecy just can't be fulfilled. If they miss at least one person. The elements won't have power. They need all of them. Wanna hear and hear wanna hear why Sauron wants to get these children? Mm -hmm. He wants revenge <gasps> for his for their mini great grandpa turning him into this creature. He's fury is at them. Whenever he gets mad, he'll he'll explode. And some of them have to take great risks. And why here? And at the end, they, they say, and I, you can put this on YouTube. For Grammy D? Uh-huh. Okay. And for the world. And for the world, okay. <laughs> you can just send it all over the place. Okay. And at the end? I want to know what happens in the very end yeah. when they defeat Sa Sauron. Mm -hmm. All the elements glow and her element glows like mad. She flies up into the sky and bush! She's gone in midair. She goes to a place of stars, beauty, and her teacher, Me Megalia. She tells her, it's time for your new life to begin. And 
guess what? She used to be a princess. Mm -hmm. Now she's a queen of the Crystal Empire. <gasps> I mean, Kay, I mean, I mean, Twilight, she is just a princess. She's actually a queen. She has, well, like, those crowns that are golden and have the gems and, like, have, are straight up and they have that fuzzy part at the bottom. Mm -hmm. She's actually a queen and she has this long robe. Mm -hmm. And actually, want to hear something funny? Mm -hmm. This is just season 10. <gasps> this is season 10, and want to know what season 10 is called? Mm -hmm. The Beginners of Their Lessons. This is be. Want to know why it's called that? It's because it's saying beginners, they found out who they really are. Mm -hmm. And lessons, they're learning their lessons. Mm -hmm. And want to know what. I want to know what the next one is called. Mm -hmm. It's called Royalty in Out of Balance. Why know why it's called that? Mm -hmm. It's because she realizes that she wants to be herself, but she also has to be proper. So it's saying, so she, even though she's supposed to be pro proper, she like goes all over the place. She like dances and stuff, and she still does funky moves, and she's. And she's bouncing off the walls. But she's supposed to be. Eh. So she's out of balance with royalty. That's why it's called royalty out of balance. Mm. Isn't that a good idea? Because cause it doesn't seem like she's not the perfect one to become a queen. Mm -hmm. She's just not really ready for that. I want to know what the three is called. Mm -hmm. Raya. It's called... Let's bring this part. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Wanna know why it's called that? Mm -hmm. It's be. It's because they're doing a few parties in this episode. I want to know who's trying to defeat them now. Mm -hmm. Nibiru and the Sour Sour are just defeated, mm -hmm. but their subjects are still kind of roaming around. They're still trying to get back at them. Mm -hmm. I want to know what the last episode is called. Mm -hmm. Let's finish this once and for all. You know, because they're real. They realize that there's still a few subjects out there, so they just need to defeat the dark realms and push. But they have to leave mystery to the world, so they'll leave. They'll leave the a few of them, but they'll they'll take their machinery and they'll destroy the dark world. Mm -hmm. I want to know what season. Four is called. Mm -hmm. It's called. It's. <laughs> you may laugh, but it's called. Let's get. It's called. Let's get this wedding going. Wanna <laughs> know why? Yeah. Because Twilight's actually getting married, so so they're saying because of and because believe it or not, in the first episode, mm -hmm. um, Twilight gets married. Actually, it's called It May Be Fun Having a Friend in Your Life, but it also takes on different responsibilities. So they're, because she's gone, because Twilight's gone married, but now she's kind of in love with him, you know? Mm -hmm. But but this is distracting her from her duty. She can't do her duty, so, so, they're, so they're like saying, so eventually, she's like, "You need to choose. Is it gonna be love, or it is, or is it gonna be true friendship? Oh, is it gonna be love, or is it gonna be true friendship?" So basically, she's saying, "Is it gonna be your husband, or is it gonna be your friends?" Because you can't do both. Because she's just gonna yes, you can. If you can't do both, that's not a good marriage. If you have to choose, the choice is easy. What? Dump the husband. If you have to choose between your husband and your friends, that's an easy choice. Dump your husband. The right husband would not make you choose between your friends and your husband. And they realized... He's a changeling. <sighs> <laughs> He's a Sing it. 
What? I love your stories. Yeah. Right